I don't know about you, but I want to be strong. I want to be capable at whatever age I am, especially as I start getting older. I want to be able to do all the things that I love with ease and less pain. So this tutorial is going to share some ways to stay mobile and yet strong in the upper body. Because for a lot of people, women especially, that's a place that we start to neglect as we get older. Because you may not feel comfortable picking up a set of weights or barbells or anything that we typically associate with building upper body strength. I'm Brie Johnson of Heart and Bones Yoga, always here to share wonderful movement tips so that you can feel amazing in your body, as well as educating on movement, yoga, and everything in between. So if you love these tips and tutorials, press that subscribe button. Now, what we're gonna need for this lesson is either maybe two yoga blocks or a bolster, yoga bolster if you have one. And if you don't have any of these things, maybe you have some cans, you have some heavier books, something that's just gonna have a little bit of a weight. It doesn't have to be a big weight, just a little bit of a weight, okay? And we're just gonna go through a little bit of a series here to get the shoulders mobile and strong. The first thing that we're gonna do with this series here is take, your hand, take a yoga block here and then place it between your forearms. And you're gonna place that block between the forearms with the palms facing up to the ceiling like so. And then you're gonna reach the arms forward. And I'll show that from the side here. So I'm gonna reach my arms forward, keeping my palms up to the ceiling, and then start to lift the arms up. And I'm only gonna lift my arms as high as I can until I want to start to feel like my ribs are lifting up. So I'm gonna keep my ribs and chest down and just bring this movement into my arms. And let's do that a few times, lift and lower. There'll be a point where, oh, if I could go a little higher, I could, if I just lifted my ribs, don't go that far. So I'll do that a few more times, gently squeezing the block between your forearms. Good, so this is gonna get us into some of our larger muscles in the back, into the latissimus dorsi muscles, these guys right here. You might feel this in your pecs, wherever you feel it, it doesn't matter. We're just getting some nice, gentle strength while we move. There, and then release, lower that block down. Take a few moments and notice how the shoulders feel. Notice how your arms feel. I like it. And then, this is great, you get to lie down. So I'm gonna use a yoga block to support my head. I recommend you having something underneath your head just for that extra bit of support for your neck. If you can, again, that's a yoga block or a pillow. Now that we're on the ground, let's take that yoga block between the forearms again. And when we bring the forearms or the yoga block between the forearms, bring your upper arms straight up toward the ceiling and bend the elbows around 90 degrees. Your palms will be facing down toward the ground. And first, before doing anything, let's make sure we're activating the strength around our shoulder joint. So squeeze that block gently with your forearms, and at the same time, can you feel like you're wrapping the outer edge of your armpits around, like you're trying to hold something, from, prevent something from falling out of your armpit. Let's say you're holding on to uh, something there, right? So you wanna to try to get that sense of squeeze. Maintain a gentle squeeze, and then you're going to travel your upper arms behind you. So try to keep that 90-ish degree angle of the elbows. And it's just your upper arms moving over your head, moving that block behind you, but only going as far as you can maintain the back of the ribs and your chest down. Try not to let the chest lift. Keep that gentle squeeze, which gets even more important as we bring the arms overhead because we really wanna maintain that connection and strength at this move towards our end range of motion for the shoulders. Now come back, good. And again, gentle squeeze, feel your outer armpits wrapping around and slide the upper arms behind you. Slide that block behind you and only again, go as far as you can maintain that squeeze and that connection of the block. Again, coming back. The more active we can have, the more of that gentle squeeze, the more work we're gonna make, the good the mobility work for our shoulders and strength. And then back, 
Good, let's go one more time. Squeeze, try not to let your chest lift. Wrapping, leaning, reaching, and then back. Haha, <laughs> nice. Take a moment, relax your arms, and notice how they feel here after doing that variation. Good. Let's take that block again between our forearms, palms still facing down toward the ground, upper arms straight up towards the ceiling. And you're going to now keep your upper arms exactly as they are and start to straighten up the elbows. And then lower and bend, bring the block down towards your head a little bit more, and then try to straighten up the elbows. Some of us, our elbows may not go all the way straight, and that's fine because the work here is continuing that feeling of wrapping, squeezing the outer edge of your armpits towards in towards your body, and at the same time, lifting that block up and down. The more you gently squeeze into that block, the more stability and support and mobility you're building in those arms. Good, try not to let your upper arms move forward, move back. Try to keep them exactly as they are and the movement is just hinging in your elbows. Let's do that one more time. Coming up, squeeze, keep those palms, arms in external rotation and then lower down. Take another moment. Observe how the arms feel, the shoulders feel. Pretty great. Now you can keep holding your block. You can grab something a little bit heavier if you like. This is where that big old encyclopedia <laughs> that you might have kicking around, you can hold that. I'm gonna use my yoga bolster. You can use yours if you have one too. We're gonna come back into that 90 degree angle with the arms and I'm, hold, I'm balancing the bolster on my hands, but I'm trying to keep my fingertips from holding it. I'm gonna just keep this more as a balance, like so, right? So elbows, and now imagine that you still have that block between your forearms, and you're squeezing that block gently between your forearms as you start to lift and straighten, and then you're going to lower down and straighten. So very much the same movement that we just did, but because this, bolster is heavier than the block, we've added and increased the load capacity here. So if this feels like it's too much, you can go back to the block. And the key is to keep that gentle squeeze, right? And keep imagining that you still have that block between your elbows and forearms. And that block is inviting the elbows and forearms to squeeze toward each other. That's where we're gonna get the most work here. If we just did this and let the arms do whatever, then I'm not, really, I'm not really feeling that same amount of work. But if I have that memory of the block squeezing between my forearms, keeping my upper arms vertical, oh yes, we're gonna feel it. Let's go one more time. <sighs> and then release, move that block over to the side and then Notice again, how do your shoulders feel? How do the arms feel? Three, four simple little movements all in the same sort of way. We've got that work of squeezing the arms. That's the key to this movement and key to helping the strength and mobility of your shoulder joint is feeling that gentle squeeze so that you can wake up the latissimus, those lats, your pecs, and everything else surrounding the shoulder joint. I highly recommend doing that a few times a week, once a day, and then start to see that difference, right? So upper body strength can come in a lot of different forms, but the whole point of doing it is so that you can be capable, so that you can be strong at any age of your life. And if you love these classes and tips and wouldn't you love to see this in a whole entire yoga sequence? Well, you can in our Heart and Bones online yoga studio. So check that out, monthly, yearly memberships. Press that subscribe button here and we'll see you in the next lesson.